Hello everyone, Crydex here. Welcome back to our Hellmod series. In this episode, we are going to be using a viewer requested chain. Um, somebody commented in my last video just kind of a specific issue they had, so I wanted to walk through kind of how to make this in Hellmod and how to kind of deal with one of the issues that they were dealing with, with in this particular case, molten glass in Pyanodons. But the concepts you'll learn in this episode will apply to many mod packs. And so it's essentially how to deal with when you have a byproduct that you want to process within the chain to give you one of the ingredients that you need within the chain. So the particular question was from Nitra, who was commenting the following. He said, I was using Helmod to find out how many buildings I needed to process a belt of quartz into molten glass using the purified recipe. So we'll start with that. Molten glass. Let me find it in the purified recipe. I believe is this is the one he's talking about. He said, crushing the quartz gives stone and purifying that gives gravel and you need pure sand for the overall recipe. And I wanted to deal with the byproduct of stone and gravel by turning it into sand, essentially. I played around with it a bunch, but wasn't able to get it to compute a sand supply from two places with priority being drawn from quartz. I ended up just hand mathing it that a jar crusher was enough and did the math to determine the rest of it myself. So let's kind of go over how you would set this up. First, we will use the ingredient input version because he said he wanted to use a full belt of quartz. So we'll assume that he's doing ingredient input, though I'm not certain that he was using ingredient input. So, uh, Nitra, you'll have to let me know if I incorrectly assumed this. Um, but we'll just kind of work our way backwards to quartz, and we will say a full belt of quartz. I'll assume yellow belt. And here's what we need. So you start with 15 quartz. That gives you some crushed quartz and stone. And then that gives you some powdered quartz and gravel. That gets mixed with some water to make pulp. You add some sand to that to make a different stage of pulp. You add some slaked lime to that to get prepared quartz. That gets mixed with some creosote to make purified quartz. And that finally gets melted down with some pure sand and oil and sodium carbonate. Or that's just fuel. Never mind. Just sodium carbonate and sand to make molten glass. So the main issue is that he wanted to use this stone and gravel to crush it down into sand to and wash that sand to make pure sand so that he can use this to accommodate this ingredient. Uh, but the problem is it's not enough. If we look at just kind of separately, if I wanted to do two pure sand per second from the stone and gravel, I don't think it would be a total of two because you get less gravel when you go from stone to gravel and then you get even less sand. And then when you go from sand to pure sand, you get even less. And we would get at most 1.8. So I'd guess we'd probably get around one pure sand from all of this. Um, but let's go ahead and check out how would we set that up in Helmod in a way that's linked so we don't have to hand plug in all the numbers. So what I would do is select your stone and then you want to use that stone. So if you right click on this, if you left click, actually, I guess it does the same thing here if you left click and right click. Either way, we wanna set up a new block. And so you've noticed I'm not in the block here, I'm outside the block clicking on the product of the line, which is stone. And I wanna process that crushing it into uh, gravel, which I'll have to find the recipe. Is it in here? Hmm. Oh, here it is. It's in the coal processing set. So we want to crush the stone into gravel. And you might be like, well, it's not linking. I can link and it doesn't give me the number. Well, that's because you're not in ingredient input. Or I mean, you are. I, I never remember which way this button goes. But we want to switch it so that it is in ingredient input. And then if you link it, and sometimes you have to unclick and click it, then it will link the 1.5 that's being produced here. So then you'll notice there's no output of stone or input of stone. So it'll link those two together, making gravel out of that. And then I think we have to make a separate block. We could within this block, if we wanted to process the gravel into sand, um, 
or we could, but since we also have gravel being used out here, I think we need a separate block for each ingredient input link we want. So we will crush gravel into sand and we'll switch that to ingredient input, unlink and then link, and there we go. It links the 1.43 that we're getting from both of these blocks to be the input for crushing into sand. And now this gets interesting because we actually need both sand and pure sand for this final block. So then what I would do at this point is we've crushed all of this into sand that we can. And now finally, we want to satiate all of the sand needs for our main line. So we need 1.94 more sand compared to what we're already getting from our byproducts on top of two pure sand. So as usual, if you want to add a block based on an input, you can just click on it. It'll give you the product recipes for that. And I believe he was wanting to wash soil into sand and then sand into pure sand. So we can set up our pure sand output, which requires sand, and we'll get that from washing soil. The problem is, we'll get back to this in a second. The problem is that in our main line, this is only going to give us the two pure sand that we need but we also need regular sand, but not all three of it. We only need 1.94. So what's really cool is if you're in a block and you want to care about more than one of these products towards future blocks, you can see all products here because it normally doesn't show you zeros and then you can control click and then it will link this intermediate product to blocks above it. And now it'll produce both the two sand and the 1.94 or sorry, two pure sand and 1.94 regular sand that we need. And so you can see we're actually receiving all the sand that we can get from our stone and gravel. And then we're making the rest of the pure sand and sand that we need from soil. And so that way we have all of our byproducts used up as much as possible. And everything is linked together in terms of numbers. So if I change my quartz ore input, I can freely change that. And it should I don't know uh, what happened with the stone there. It should link. I think, oh, it's because I never linked this properly. Um, I had a little video glitch, so I had to come back in and remake it. You'll notice the background might have changed on you. Uh, and I forgot to relink that stone one. So um, so now as we change the quartz ore, which you change right here, uh, we can change it to five and all my numbers change accordingly. And I don't have to recalculate any of the math. So hopefully that's a helpful um, quick Helmon tutorial on how to utilize byproducts within an overall production line while still getting additional input from the outside. Now I'd assume if you change the order of these, it will mess some things up. Like if I move this up, then actually it still seems to be working properly. Uh, no, we're outputting a little bit of extra sand because this is not accounting for the sand I am getting down here. So you do need the kind of additional coming in from the outside stuff to be on the bottom. And then you'll utilize your other byproducts first in the middle. And then also after my video glitched and I had to remake it, I went back and tried making the same thing with product input, you know, which is the normal way you use Helmod where you just decide, hey, I want 150 molten glass per second. What do I need to do it? Um, you can still utilize your byproducts in the same fashion where you right click on the product, you select the recipe. The annoying part is when you select a recipe, it will automatically put it back inside that block rather than making a new block, which I guess is a difference between product input and ingredient input. So what you can do to make this its own block is you move it down and then you hit the little home button and then that makes it its own block and you change that to ingredient input and you unlink it and link it and then that will work properly. In this case, it didn't work because I already have the recipe I want up here. But yeah, hopefully that's a helpful way for you guys to understand how to utilize byproducts in the midst of your production lines. Uh, feel free to submit any questions you may have or any ideas for modded Helmod chains that you would like to see. Um, I love using Helmod. And I'd love to help you guys out in any way that I can to make more of these tutorial videos. So thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you think in the comments, and I will see you guys next time.